RoboSimian is a system that actually comes out of work we've been doing at JPL for a while in what we refer to as limbed robots. So limbed robots uh, are based on the idea that rather than legs and arms, that we actually are going to create a limb that is capable of either manipulation or mobility. And this more general design, while it's not optimized for any one job, is sufficient for a huge number of jobs. And instead of these difficult environments on other planets or in space, we're looking at the difficult environments on Earth with RoboSimian. One of the interesting aspects of our design is, is its modularity. We use the same actuator design at every joint. So while we have 28 actuators plus an additional two for the casters on the back, so 30 actuators on the entire robot, they're all the same design. Um, and this makes it very easy to build up and maintain from a system's point of view. The strengths of our team, both here at JPL and at Caltech and at UC Santa Barbara and at Stanford, is that we have an enormous amount of experience with robotics that are very similar to what we're trying to build. We also are a, probably one of the smallest teams competing in the DRC. We're very streamlined and by doing so, everybody gets a tremendous amount of ownership. We set out to build a very deliberate robot. For that reason, uh, RoboSimian is, unlike a humanoid system, entirely predicated around the idea that it's gonna be stable at all times. It's basically the tortoise relative to the hare. And it'll be very interesting to see how those two ends of the robotic solution spectrum play out in the, in the competition. Our design will win the robotics challenge because we're practical. We know our limits. Uh, we're going after what we can do. What JPL has built is a robot that can interact in a human world, but is not constrained by human design. 